Right, hello and welcome to uh, what's going to be a guide for our product design um, coursework. Well, design technology as it is. And um, to start off with, there are six sections to this. And we're going to go through each section in a separate video. And it's important to point out that this folder, this sort of journey that you're going on, is really what makes up your qualification. You'll do an exam that will count for half of your grade, but a lot of the content and the understanding of those things you will probably cover within this sort of this journey of creating and designing your own product. So we're going to go through um, each stage, as it were, section A right through to section F, and I'm going to talk to you about what I'd expect to see in each of those sections. Now, this isn't a follow along guide. I'll be using some examples of exemplary work that's got grade nines in the past. But it's really important to point out that trying to copy them or trying to emulate that, but obviously aside from plagiarism, it's also not really going to work because each product is unique and each journey is completely unique. And really, this is more of a guide of the sort of things you should be looking for and the sort of things you should be trying to do and achieve. Uh, so it's more of a guide of the process rather than a step-by-step -step what you need to do. And um, I will talk about some of those techniques and methods that will help you. And by all means you can, you can do those and you can use the guide. But as I say, every single project is unique in its own right. So really it's your opportunity to create something, to invent something that's never been done before. And again, just to, to, to finish off, the final product, the final outcome, that's not really what your mark is based on. Your grade is really going to come from the folder, your portfolio and the journey that you take. And I think it's important to make people aware of this. If you've got a job as a designer and you actually did this as a job and um, you went out and you got a brief from a client and you had to go off and invent something, it's very unlikely that you would just be given all the money and all the funding you need to create the finished product. And what we're, what we're doing by getting you to focus on the folder is we're teaching you the skills that you need to actually do this in the real world, in the industry. If we look at James Dyson, for example, to secure his funding from Japan, to get the machinery in place, to get the manufacturing in place, he needed to take a prototype and he needed to pitch that product and he would have talked about all the research, he'd have talked about the market and the client, he'd have talked about the prototypes and about the concept of the model, and he'd have shown a working model and a working prototype. And even at that point, it wouldn't have been finished to the one that we buy on the shelf. And so he would have gone along with exactly this, this folder and this information and pitched it to a business who funded him to then go on and make those, the, those products. So it's not just jumping through hoops, the folder work, it's an essential part of being a designer. And the making, the manufacturing, really that's, that's a trade skill. If you're going to go and be a tradesman, then that's something you do at college in an apprenticeship. So what you need for this course is the ability to be able to explore and test and design and create. And there's a lot of making in this course, but it's not niche carpentry or metalwork it's everything it's understanding processes and being able to understand how to explore those processes and select the right ones for your product for your invention right so let's crack on and let's start jumping into our videos